What's up everybody? Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. Very excited about today's episode. If you don't already know, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have a home gym because all we do on the channel is look at home gyms. It's awesome. It's a good time. Everybody loves it, hopefully. But today we're checking out Chase's home gym. So Chase is one of the co-owners of Project Pure Athlete. He is a world-class jump trainer. So very cool. I did see a little snippet of this in one of the home gym community Facebook pages of his gym. And I asked him if we could take a look at it. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Chase has about 60 grand wrapped up into this. He's had a home gym for approximately 10 years, usually in the garage, he said. And this version has been around for about a month. So very excited. This one is gonna be a good one. A little bit longer video today. So hopefully my mic stays on. Let's roll. What's up everyone? Chase here. Welcome to my garage. Hey. Oh my goodness. This one's going to be pretty special. Give you guys a tour, let you know what I picked and why. All right, so let's start with the, the biggest thing in the room. That's going to be the flooring. Now, I had, a, I had the regular stall mats. I had the, the black rubber with the white specks and all that kind of stuff in the, in the garage gym before. And when redoing it, I really wanted to, to have something that stood out, something that was a, a little more unique. And so I spent a lot of time researching and trying to find the right brand. Ended up finding this brand here locally in Vegas, uh, Hero Brand Flooring, and their Nike Grind, product, Nike Grind product is incredible, right? If you guys want to take a quick look, there's all kinds of colors throughout the... Um... Wow. <laughs> that is incredible. First one that jumps out is the teamwork, that red. We've got MVP, Space Jam, Cowboy, Ducks. Eagles, all kinds of stuff. That is extremely cool. So that's hero flooring. Throughout the pro or throughout the product, there's a little flex of all kinds of all kinds of um, different colors. And what they are is it's recycled Nike shoes. So this this product is super cool. So when you uh, when you go to like a Nike store and a, and a mall and there's the little place to uh, turn your shoes in, that's what this that's what this ends up being. They grind it all down, they turn it into turf, they turn it into rubber flooring like this, and I'm super excited to have that here. It feels awesome, looks great, and it's a product I'm super, super happy about. Um, next thing, let's just kind of work our way around the room. Um, we've got the Squat Max here. So this was a big addition for me. I was um, looking for a belt, a belt squat option, I considered Rogue Rhino, Squat Max, a few other options, and Squat Max uh, won me over with the way that the, the weight pin sits with the load being directly underneath you. It definitely feels a lot like a regular squat, and it um, actually, I find it takes less weight than, than you need on a bar. It's super easy to set up, super easy to change the weights. Um, in between athletes, you can, you can uh, adjust the pin heights uh, or the, the belt height really quickly. Um, with this, there's also other options. So with this, with this pad on here, I have it set up to where you can do, you can do rows off of it. You can do, um, you can do things like uh, re um, reverse hyperextensions. You can, you can use it for uh, hip thrust. You can use it for quite a few things. So um, in a garage gym, it's super important for every piece of equipment to be versatile, not just to take up a big amount of real estate for just one thing. So it's a, uh, it's an option that I'm very, very happy with. Um, the next thing over is the uh, Brett Contreras hip thruster uh, bench. It is a little bit of a kind of one use option uh, in terms of like it's made specifically for the hip thrust. It has the band attachments on it. It's uh, super comfortable and easy to use, but I also like to use uh, the front, you know, have people work off the front here and we do, uh, we do a lot of uh, hip bridges and I can use it for Bulgarian split squat stand, a few other things like that. Um, some of the athletes that are a little bit younger, need a little more development, we can use it for um, elevated push up stand, things like that. So it's, it, it's another thing that takes up a little bit of real estate, but uh, I get a lot of function out of it and we use it almost every workout. Um, so we definitely have not seen that one on the channel before. I think we're gonna see a few of those items that we haven't seen on the channel before. I like to point them out in each episode and I mean we already see like three. 
The big piece here is I'm super excited about this Vertimax. So I, I, being a jump trainer, um, Vertimax has obviously been on the top of my mind for a long time. It's a, it's a piece that you know is, is very functional when it comes to adding accommodating resistance to, uh, to, the, to your jump. But I'm actually kind of surprised in how um, how versatile it is, right? So not only can you work on top of the on top of the platform with the with the belt attached, just like jumping on top of it, but it also has these cords where you can get out in front of the platform in the open space, and and you can use that to to do things like change the direction drills, bounds. You can you can work on uh, hip flexor strength. You can do it. It's it's a very versatile piece of equipment. So it's, it's something that I'm very happy to have picked up as well. The uh, the artwork. So this artwork is uh, is something that. Came in late into the process, and I just reached out to a uh, reached out to my uh, my good friend ja uh, Jackie, and she's an artist here in town. I've, I've liked her work for a long time, but she was willing to take the project on and do something a little bit bigger than she's normally done. And it just I'm super happy with it. it came out awesome. She she put in over 50 hours of work on this, hand painted it all, um, added in all the textures and whatnot around it for the uh, kind of pop art feel. Um, so it's not just not just the Thanos, the Thanos image, but it kind of blends into everything. Uh, I know a lot of people have been asking kind of why Thanos, and uh, with the Project Pure Athlete, um, our our whole deal is a 360 degree of training, right? And with that 360 degree of training, it is things like strength, mobility, technique, you know, all, all these different aspects, recovery and whatnot, all these different aspects of training that go into you getting your best results. And for me, like one, I always kind of gravitated toward Thanos in, in the films, but the Infinity Stones, in the, in the image kind of represent those things for me. It's like, you know, sure, he's, 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 uh, he's an awesome like character on his own, but once he has all those things right, then just becomes this extraordinary character and, and is able to do so much more. So uh, it's that 360 degree approach, everything working together just opens up that ability for you to be way more than you're capable of without it. So more. Okay, so first off, the backstory behind that piece is incredible, but then the artwork itself is insane. Huge props to the artist. That's awesome. Definitely my favorite artwork we've seen in a home gym before. I always say that I kind of have a running list, or I should have a running list of my favorite home gyms we've seen on the channel. And this one's, this one's going to be right up there for sure. More of the kind of decor around here. We got a, a bunch of images and and um, and jerseys with some signed personalized messages from some of the athletes I've been able to work with in the uh, NBA dunk contest. We have the big poster behind here. Um, that's a dunk that Donovan Mitchell did in the contest. Um, you kind of see in some of the images more towards the other side, but I'm actually in the in the uh, photo because I threw, threw the pass off the side of the backboard. So this was used in Salt Lake City to promote a uh, Kevin Hart tour um, and we just happened to see somebody send it to uh, send me an image of it being used. So I was reach, we reached out to him. My wife was able to get them to ship it to me. So it was just one of those random things that uh, ended up being a cool piece for the garage. Um, on the other side over here, we have another another piece of decor. It's from Glenn Robinson. So this is the first time that I got to work with anybody in the NBA Slam Dunk Contest. Um, Glenn was Glenn was awesome, and and uh, he's. We don't have this kind of section over here um, because that's that one is a little more special in that we worked with I worked with one guy instead of multiple guys in the field. So working with one guy and having to try to beat the other guys, it was uh, definitely a, a, a unique experience, and I can't thank Glenn enough. Um, we have these silencer pads. These silencer pads are used to kind of drop the weight, right? So this is a garage gym. Obviously, have, we have some neighbors, right? So if I'm doing any kind of Olympic lifts with people and we want to we want to drop the weights we're gonna drop them on the pads you know save that uh, save that balance but also um, you know not make it so loud and noisy for the neighbors when that when that bar is bouncing off the ground hero flooring again just to kind of touch on what that um, what the product is this is Nike grind right so all these different colorways are available I ended up going with the space jam because it fits fits with the uh, motif of the gym and and me being the one of the jump guys uh, but there's all these other cool options I considered, so it's it's an awesome product. All right, working way back. That's very cool. I'm gonna try to have that linked down below in the description for you. Around the gym, so the meat of the gym is the racks, right? So the power racks. That was the first thing I ever purchased when I built my very first version of a garage gym was getting a power rack. So I'm, I'm you know, super happy with this setup, being able to have multiple power racks, being able to have lots of stations to be able to attach whatever attachment points to, to these racks, make everything very functional, be able to use all of the space. Um, 
These are Rep Fitness um, PR, PR 5000 racks. They are three by three with one inch hardware. Very, very beefy, very heavy. Um, they're all, everything's connected together. So I don't have to worry about anything tipping if I'm working outside the rack or any kind of rack shakage. It's, it's all connected together. As you already know, we always have Rep Fitness linked down below as well. If you shop through those links, it does support the channel and we appreciate it. Rep makes some awesome stuff. We see the Rep Fitness bench there. Obviously the racks, like he's already talked about it. I was actually wanting a PR5000 in my home gym. That's probably what I'll get next time. Uh, they were just out of stock, so I had to go with Rogue. They're very heavy, it's, it's awesome stuff. Um, these Rogue Jammer Arms, they're, uh, they're incredibly versatile for training with athletes, right? So we can we can get them creating power and changing uh, changing uh, directions. We can we can use that to to do things like thrusters, or you can hook it up with a. I can I can use a bench here, an adjustable bench, and set up station to mimic uh, mimic machines. So you can do like chest presses and, and row variations, or you know all kinds of stuff. These are very versatile pieces of equipment, and it's something that uh, you know is, is a big pickup for us in the gym. Back behind here, we have the Rep Fitness adjustable bench. Uh, I think it's 5200. Uh, this thing is a monster, super heavy duty. Um, very, very, uh, very comfortable. These pads are super thick, they're wider. Um, it moves around very, very easily. That, it's an awesome pickup. Um, it was highly rated from, from uh, like garage gym reviews and all that kind of stuff where, where I was doing my research, considering uh, different, different brands and options. And that was one I'm, I'm happy to have definitely um, in terms in terms of attachment stuff we have band pegs j cups everywhere these things are some of my favorite these are magnetic collars right so i think when you take a collar on and off you're always worried about where you set it like if you take it off the barbell are you putting it on a band peg or you putting it on the ground where are you where are you setting it in between changing the weights these things just clamp right on to, uh, to any rack so i can leave them right there i can clamp them whatever surfaces i need to so i can change the weights, find the, uh, find the collar very quickly, put it back on. Um, we use the back, the back post. So this is a six post rack here. The back posts are for all kinds of storage. So rather than just using it for storage plates like I have on the other side, we use the middle to attach, um, uh, to attach storage shelves. So we can, we can put dumbbells on there, collars, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. Um, I love this option. I'm actually going to be adding some more um, some more storage off the sides here in the here in the near future. But this is this is a very uh, uh, a very useful thing to be able to add to the back of a six, six post rack. Um, on here we have we have things like bands for accommodating resistance. We have um, we have big sets of heavy chains back here. These things not only look beefy, but they're they're awesome for adding to workouts, making things uh, you know to add that accommodating resistance, provide that different stimulus. Um, we have all kinds of bands set up throughout these throughout these racks, depending on the uh, the amount of resistance I want to be able to add. All these mini bands we we use. So, in here, you know, athletes already know that if we're not picking up a barbell, picking up a weight, picking up a dumbbell, whatnot, and it's just bands, they're in for a tough workout. So you know, that's the those bands get heavy use around here. Um, I want to come back around here real quick, sh uh, show a few items that are pretty cool. So. This is a slant board. Um, it's basically a squat wedge that you can use to elevate your heels in a squat, or um, you know, you can use it to do calf stretching, some sort of rehab exercises, things like that. Uh, we use it quite often, especially with newer athletes. Getting them to elevate their heels gets them in a better, much better squat position. Takes out the ankle uh, ankle mobility issues. So we can start them there and then slowly progress them towards uh, not needing it anymore. Um, this is another. Really cool piece from the uh, from the slant board, or, yeah, from the slant board guys. So uh, it has multiple elevations, and it's used to uh, used to step up. So I, I use it for a lot of lunge variations, be able to add some elevation to the front foot, or if somebody has a little bit of uh, limited mobility, we can elevate the front foot, get them using a little bit less range of motion, or for somebody that's a little bit further advanced, we can create some depth off of there so they can actually be stepping off and creating more range of motion off of that. It's a very versatile piece. They did a great job of the, uh, the grip tape all over the surfaces. Those things are, are awesome pieces of equipment. Around here we have Myth Strength uh, Plates. So Myth is, uh, Myth is an awesome company. Um, they, they had a warehouse there out in Arizona. They uh, took, care, took care of us and provided some awesome bumper plates. So it's a, it's a brand that I'm very, very happy with and those things perform awesome. They also got a great, uh, great couple of barbells and it's uh, my, out of the barbells that I have, 
So if I'm using, you know, if I'm doing deadlifts or Olympic lifts or even just like straight bar squats, it's my, my go-to out of the options that I have. So I use that uh, Myth barbell all the time. Um, coming around here. I've never heard of Myth Strength Company before, so we're learning something every day. Sounds like it's pretty good stuff. So we have some pretty cool pieces of equipment that you don't see often. So this is a, a tib bar from the home gym guys just hanging up here. Um, it's used for tibialis raises and it is an incredible piece of equipment. So I had, um, I had the original version probably 15 years ago from, uh, I think it was, it's called the Dard. And this is a upgraded version. They added a lot better padding. It's the way that the weights are secured. If you ever use that piece of equipment, this is a much better version of it. Um, most of sports was, was awesome. It sent out some resistance bands and a few different, um, a few different levels from, from easy to heavy. Those things are actually pretty serious compared to like a hip circle or something like that. They have a lot more resistance. So it's a uh, very cool option. Um, we have some, some Heco, Heco sticks. So those things are, are really cool. I use them a lot in balance training. So when I get somebody on one foot and we're just working on that one foot stability, we'll also be kind of juggling those back and forth. You can call out each color. And so it creates some hand-eye coordination. Um, those, those are really cool, unique pieces of equipment. Um, this is a, a random piece of equipment that, uh, that I use personally. So it was a fascia, I used to have some uh, plantar fasciitis tearing and this thing definitely helped uh, get me back in the rehab process. So if anybody's kind of getting towards that, we can, we can bust this out and get in some calf raises, things like that, and create some more mobility through that fascia. Um, Bosu balls, um, these things are awesome, very versatile. I've got a couple different options here. Um, we have everything from ab rollers to some weighted balls to some mini BOSUs, all kinds of balance, balance related stuff. Some of our mobility stuff is up here. So it's just different versions of foam rollers. Um, this, this version here from a Roll, incredible. Um, you know, just the way that it contours to your muscles. If you're using like, if you're using it to roll at your legs or you can use it on your spine, there's all kinds of ways that, uh, that you can use this. And it's a very cool piece of equipment. Um, so down here we have the, so this is from Virtue, it measures velocity. So we can attach it to a barbell, we can attach it to a hip band, we can do all kinds of things like that. And what it does is it measures how fast it's moving, right? So say I have it attached to a squat and you squat basically that fast. It'll come out with the reading. It'll tell me based off of the weight of the, weight of the barbell, how fast you moved it, how much power you're creating, what is the initial velocity, average velocity, peak velocity, all these sorts of things. And you can do the same thing for jumps or for all kinds of other movements. Uh, I use it for kettlebell swings, squats, mo mace, uh, mo mostly, and every once in a while we use it for some jumps as well. Um, just providing some data. So, you know, as a, at, not, I'm not a sports scientist, but as somebody who has a science background, I, I love to have data to be able to track over time. So this is an awesome pickup. This, this tour is just completely full of things that I have absolutely never seen before and we've obviously never had on the channel. So this is truly a treat. This is awesome. Down here we have some, uh, some, some pretty cool piece of equipment. So we have a uh, hamstring roller there from Titan Fitness. Um, so you can use that either as an ab, ab roller or you can hook your feet up and use it more to do some hamstring bridge, bridge work. Um, I love that piece of equipment, athletes hate it. <laughs> Then we have some American barbell uh, competition, bar, uh, a competition kettlebells, um, 44 kilograms, so about 97 pounds for the heaviest one. Um, I love heavy kettlebell swings, one of my favorite exercises. So to be able to get some heavy kettlebells like that is, is something that I was, I was always looking forward to. I'm happy to have those. I'm actually looking for some heavier versions, so I might, uh, might be adding to that collection here soon. Um, then we have some other, other kettlebells and some smaller weights. We have the power blocks. Um, power blocks are awesome, right? So lots of people worry about like, how are you gonna change the weights mid-exercise? Literally just pull that out, line it up in the next section, push it in, you got the next, sec you got the next weight hooked up. It takes just a couple of seconds to change weights. Um, those things are indestructible. Um, I'm not a drop my weights kind of guy, but I've seen, seen people abuse these things and they still work they still work perfectly years later. I've had these for which going on probably 10 years and wow. uh, they're still still incredible. Sand dune stepper up here is a really cool piece of equipment. Um, allows you to be dynamic and create just a, a different feel through your feet, right? So you can get a different proprioception feel. Um, I love to use it personally to fire up the nervous system before like a heavy head, heavy deadlift or a heavy squat. You can get on there and you can do some some uh, high knee marches, some kind of some sprints. You can do some quick. Uh, quick feet on and off drills like those that's a uh, a really cool piece of equipment to, to get things fired up 
Um, some more attachments we have, we have these like leg rollers um, that can be attached on the rack. I, I use them for Nordics. Uh, use, you can set them up to do some um, single leg back extensions. You can, you can do all kinds of things with them. Um, I've seen people attach a, another piece of equipment and create like a, um, create a leg extension off of their rack. There's some cool ideas out there. I'm probably gonna be adding some more, versus, uh, some more functionality with some like leg extension, leg curl pieces of equipment here, here in the near future. Uh, but I love the idea that these can just attach to any, anywhere on the rack. I had on my other rack, I had a uh, two, two by three rack in here uh, before, and it just didn't work out with the direction that the leg roller was able to attach. So because these are three by three and there's holes on every side, you can adjust and, and put them in any way that you might need to be able to use them. So that's a, that's a very cool piece of equipment. Um, here we have these Henny straps. So Henny straps are very cool in that they can mimic a lot of the things that a jammer arm does way less expensive, um, but there's also some different functionality, right? So uh, one of my favorite ones that I've used so far is throwing a barbell here through the bottom and then using it for elevated rollouts. Um, but because of the way it's suspended, it is a core killer. So that's an awesome exercise. I'm looking forward to getting getting more time with these Cine straps and getting uh, you know getting to know some more functionality with them. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to have picked those up. Um, in the back of the rack here, we have more storage. There's weight vests, dip belts. Um, we have some most, most of like uh, jumping straps, Vertimax, hip, uh, Vertimax belts, that kind of stuff. This is another tib bar. This is the ISO tib from the home gym guys. This is unique in that instead of both feet working at the same time, it isolates to one leg. So you get to, you get to a lot of ankle stability and control one way versus the other as well. It's a uh, very unique piece of equipment. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else make it before. More bands, more weights, um, another set of Myth, myth uh, Strength plates. Um, once again, thanks to them, they're, they're awesome. Uh, we've got the spotter arms that are inside right now. Typically would be outside the rack, depending on what we're doing. Um, but those, these things are beefy. I love the fact that they, they have these, um, they have the holes drilled in the side too, so they're a little more functional. So if I had them outside and I wanted to throw, um, throw some utility pegs on there, you could use them for a dip bar. You can, you know, I can do all kinds of things off of this. It's not just a spotter arm. You can use it for a lot of other things. You can add band pegs, whatever. So there's uh, a lot of functionality built into the spotter arms. They're, they're awesome. Good job there from Rep. Um, some plyo boxes, barbell storage. Um, this is real quick, just in case he doesn't touch on it, which I feel like he probably will, but take a minute to look at the lighting in here. It's phenomenal. It's very evenly spaced. There's a rectangle that goes around the ceiling that I have not seen before. That's kind of the running theme of this gym is haven't seen this before. So very cool. I really like that. My favorite bar out of like, out of everything because it is so versatile, right? So this is the Kabuki Strength Transformer Bar. Transformer Bar can be used to mimic everything from a low bar squat to a goblet squat and everything in between, right? So right now it's set up more of a front squat position. So if you had it on your back, the handles come out and the load, instead of being here on your back, the load would actually be carried in front of you. So it mimics where the, where the weight would be in a front squat. Um, with a front squat for me, it's always about like, how much can I, how much can I hold this position? And by having the handles out in front of you, you're able to, to get that same load in terms of how it affects the quads, but it's way more comfortable and you can do more reps with, with the same amount of weight. You can actually go quite a bit heavier on this. So um, it's, it's a great, great tool. Goblet squats are my favorite personal version of squats. So being able to mimic a goblet squat positioning, have that weight out, out quite, a, quite a bit in front of you, but being able to load it up really heavy versus having to hold it in your hands that actually rests on your back. So I love that versatility through this piece of equipment. Um, we have some, we have a trap bar, a couple of, this is a myth strength barbell. This thing is awesome. So if I'm deadlifting or anything like that, it has a, um, it's not a super aggressive neural, but it is a very effective knurling uh, compared to, this was just a, like a kind of a off brand piece that I picked up here. The knurling is very passive on this. This is, this is quite a bit more significant. So it gets you a lot more grip, um, but it's not a, it's not like a uh, aggro bar or anything like that. That's going to tear up your hands. Um, this piece is on there because it attaches to the landmine, right? So that uh, this piece from Titan Fitness just creates an extra extension on that landmine handle. So you can throw weight on here, get a little bit further away from the extension point, adds a lot of versatility to, uh, to the movements. Um, because it has the bald end, you can use it for more rotational presses and things like that. It's a uh, very, uh, very unique piece and I'm uh, excited about having that as well. Um, 
So let's go here. So here we have a sled. Um, so sled, sled drag, sled pulls, we can do sled crossover, sled rows. Uh, when, when the weather permits, uh, it's not too hot out here in Vegas, we'll take it out there and we'll, we'll get athletes, you know, working through those uh, accelerated positions, using sled drags, really getting their lower limbs and their knees uh, prepared, for, prepared, prepared for work. So it's an awesome piece that we use quite a bit. Um, a good heavy sandbag here. Um, quite a bit heavier than, uh, than I probably intended. So obviously you don't, I didn't have a scale there when I was filling up with sand. I just kind of filled the bag up and it got pretty heavy pretty quick, but I like to use it for uh, slag some, uh, some, or some drag, some change of direction stuff, uh, you know, getting people to do some lateral movement. Um, I like that a lot. It's also a, a piece that you can use uh, as like a clean variation. So it's a, it's a cool versatile, versatile piece of equipment. Um, some of the other things that are pretty cool in here are we, we change out the overhead garage doors and put in these jack shaft wall mounted uh, garage door openers. These things are one, they're way more quiet. Two, they lock automatically and, uh, and provide some of that safety factor where we're not in the gym. Um, these controls spit out, the, uh, spit out the temperature. So like right now it's 70 degrees in here. So like being able to keep that in mind during the summer, during the, during the winter months, I can adjust the temperature as needed. Um, but getting them off the ceiling is the biggest thing, right? So for me, the aesthetics in here were super important. So getting the garage doors off the ceiling and providing a cleaner cleaner look at these really cool LED lights is something that I was um, very much uh, very much wanting to do. So being able to change those change those openers out to these jack shaft openers is, is something that I, I would advise, you know, I recommend to a lot of people. Um, working my way around, we have a recovery station over here. So in this recovery station, we have rapid reboot. So this is, these are compression boots. Um, I use them all the time. They are awesome. Um, we have a red light therapy from EMR. So this is, um, this is uh, red and infrared lights. Um, there's lots of really cool science on that. It's something that I use quite a bit. Uh, we'll use it to try to stifle some inflammation. Every once in a while, we'll use it to increase blood flow. Uh, there's some pretty good science on it maybe increasing uh, natural creatine production. There's, um, there's some cool stuff. If you ever, ever wanna look it up, these are uh, red light therapy lights. Hyperbolt, I mean, lots of people have seen the massage guns. So this is, this is the option that I have. <clears throat> this is Power Dot. So this is uh, like an EMS device. Um, it could be STEM or EMS. Um, it works through your smartphone. So one of the things, cool things about that one is it's wireless on the smartphone app, depending on what you're trying to work on. So if, say you're working on your quad, your shoulder or whatever, it'll show you where to put the pads to get the most effectiveness. Then you can dial the intensity and all that from your phone. It's a uh, very unique piece. So rather than needing a hand, handheld controller or wires everywhere, it's uh, you know built in through the capability of the phone. Um, awesome design. Um, then garage not complete without storage, right? So I wanted the, the look. Dang. <laughs> I think that is definitely the most storage we've seen within a garage gym and I am hopefully it opens up tells us what's inside I'm excited to see it to to match the rest of the aesthetic so we got these nice large storage units from um, I think we got them from Sam's Club and maybe I had to buy some of the pieces from from the brand itself um, you know to, to finish it out but yeah you know, so this way I can store some extra workout equipment I can store whatever we need to put in the garage we got tools and all that kind of stuff stored over here but it it looks the part Right, and then we're finishing it off with another photo here. So this is another photo from, from the dunk contest a couple years ago with Derek Jones Jr. Uh, again, got to be a part of the contest and throw the pass off the glass. That dunk was a kind of cool story because it was unplanned, right? So because him and Aaron got to go into a good battle and kept having to do more and more dunks, um, this was a dunk that was not part of our plan, but just happened in the moment. And uh, super, uh, super proud to you know, be, a, be a part of his, uh, his winning repertoire and uh, allow a great guy like Derek to get an NBA, champ uh, NBA dunk championship. So this is not it. We actually have more uh, in the back. We have a basketball court, have a, we have a shooting machine, all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to, this is not just a garage gym. I wanted to make sure that I, in my mind, I wanted it to be a performance center. So, so while most people say it's a home gym, garage gym, for me, it's a home performance center. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the backyard. Before we get back there, I totally agree with him. This. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video, to be honest. I mean, I guess you can see at the top what I decided to go with, but this isn't just a home gym. This is a full on, just like Chase said, it's a performance center that just happens to be at his house. This is unreal. 
how top notch every single piece in here is. From the flooring, like just imagine real quick, picture the same gym, but instead of that, uh, I already forgot what it was called, but the flooring that in there that I linked down below, without that flooring, the hero flooring, it would be completely different if this was horse stall mats. Imagine that real quick. Turn on your creativity, your imagination. Picture you walk into here and it's just black horse stall mats. Totally different feel with the lighter color mats down there. That's insane how good this gym looks. And there's so much stuff in there. Everything has a purpose. Even the what some people would consider the weird stuff still has a purpose. I'm sure it still gets used. He's not just buying stuff to buy it like a lot of us might do. Everything has a purpose and I'm excited to see the quartz. All right, so as I was saying, I didn't want to treat this as a home gym. I want to treat it as a home performance center, right? So with that, we had to put in a court. You can't be a jump guy and not have somewhere for people to jump. So we have the uh, versus court court. That's a really good point. <laughs> that is a really good point. It's awesome. Uh, grip is incredible. It feels like an indoor court. Um, grip really, really bites. It allows you to be aggressive on your jumps and plays really well. With that, we got this big heavy duty NBA size backboard. Um, it's incredible. This thing, I have uh, big athletes out here jumping, hanging on the rim, dunking as hard as they can all the time. This thing takes a beating, doesn't, doesn't show it at all. Jump guy, you have to be able to test, test jumps. Vertec, it's the uh, industry standard. So uh, Vertec is awesome piece of equipment, allows you to do standing reach, measure all your different jumps. All the, uh, all the measurements are done in half inch increments, super easy to read, quick to do. Um, allows me to get athletes tested really quickly. Then, top it all off, we got the shooting machine. So, as a basketball player myself and guy who, uh, you know, just a life, lifelong hooper, it's always a dream to have a shooting machine. So, I'd be able to have one right here in the backyard at my own uh, performance performance center. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a dream come true. So, uh, the Dr. Dish shooting machine is awesome. It shoots up, you can, you can set it up, up for different lengths of passes, different spots on the court. It uh, keeps track keeps track of all the makes and misses. It's a must have for, must have for a basketball player. Um, so, once again, thanks, uh, thanks for joining me. I um, hope, uh, hope you had a fun time and, and uh, checking out my garage gym, my performance space, and shout out to all the different brands who helped make it possible. Oh my goodness. Dude, my mind is blown. Chase, thank you so much for sending in your home gym, letting us take a look at it. I don't even want to call it a home gym, you're right. It's a home performance center. One of the most insane places that we've taken a look at on the channel. So everybody take a second. Obviously go subscribe to Chase off his channel link down below. I'm going to have a lot of stuff linked down there. But let us know in the comments what your favorite part of Chase's home gym is. Mine's going to be a two-parter. Because again, I make the rules so I get to do that. You can as well on this one. On this one, you get two votes. Two things you like the most. First off. I'm going with the Thanos artwork because that's just incredible. If you don't have that piece, it kind of loses some of the character. Obviously, he still has all the cool basketball memorabilia. But the way that he described it and how good that piece looks, I totally think that needs to be on that top list. So that's number one. And then number two, that gym flooring. Because like I already went on a tangent saying, that totally changes the way that the gym looks. Completely changes it, extremely cool. So anyways, let us know down below what your favorite part of Chase's home gym was. If you didn't or haven't already, make sure you subscribe. We do at least three videos per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We might, might start doing more. Monday and Wednesday, we look at subscriber, home gym, stuff like that. Fridays, we look at celebrity and influencers. That's all I got. <laughs>